Hey guys, Jeff here with Ghost Thinking Man. Hey, we are back with another Minecraft video. We're doing a little bit more stuff in creative here. As you can see, the tower is off in the distance. And we are nearby, and uh, I'd like to introduce you to the Ghost Knight Test Chamber. <laughs> so, we've been doing a little bit of experimenting, and this one was actually uh, uh, given to me and... Uh, it was shown to me by one of my uh, one of my Twitch channel regulars, uh, Ice Wolf. So I want to thank him for bringing this up because we were looking for something for one of the other members in the realm community, and we were looking for something interesting to do with the pub that they had created for the city. So today's video, we're actually going to uh, show you how to essentially make your own cycling lights. So if you want to do a disco ball or a fancy dance floor, as you can see here, or just about anything else you might think of a, a practical use for this for, say you have runway lights, you know, you're building an airport and you want runway lights that are always going. This is a way to do that in a relatively efficient manner. So you can see this here and you can see that actually all my redstone is completely hidden. So I'll also show you how to do this as well so that, yeah, you can essentially have this lovely dance floor. You can dance all night as the lights blind you or whatever. So for this little bit, a uh, little piece, we're going to get into all the stuff you need to basically run this and then set it up and have it ready to go. So first off, we're going to look at all the tools you need. So obviously you're going to need, you're going to need a lever. You're going to need some redstone. Kind of goes without saying. You're going to need a decent number of repeaters, depending on how many lights and how big of a circuit you plan on creating. You're going to need some redstone lamps, because as far as I know, those are the only things that can light up via redstone uh, circuits off the top of my head. So that should be everything you need at this point. And then later, we're going to need some carpet. And this time we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with green because I like green. All right, so we have the chest test chamber still running. So the great thing about this circuit is, uh, is, as you can tell right now, this switch is actually off. So this is doing everything itself, and it's perpetually running. So it's a neat little thing, and we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. So. Right now, still working on getting it set up to do it on a much larger scale or with considerably more lights. So, of course, if you know anything about that or you have a great idea how to do that, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Head over to the Discord and have a chat with us and say, hey, I've got this cool thing. Or even on that note, if you have any cool thing you want to see me build with redstone and or with redstone or other things you want to see me experiment with, because this is a great experience for me to kind of learn how to do all of this stuff as well. Well, and it's been a neat little uh, trip with some of the experimentation. So first thing we're going to set in is we're going to set our redstone lamps just uh, so we know where they're going to be. So I'm going to set all these guys here. So this will be our dance floor setup again. Uh, you can actually get rid of oops, all the blocks around here because we're going to be covering that all up shortly here. So we need to clear out enough space to work our redstone magic. So of course, because of the nature of redstone is the only reason this kind of needs to be a whole lot larger than you'd think it would need to be to run this. But you're kind of going to have to do a little bit of space management if you want to get this going based on our current experiments so far. Ice has been testing uh, some ways to do it on a much smaller scale. And he's got some ideas for doing that. But we're going to do it on where we experimented the last time we kind of played around with this. And we did this in uh, survival. So it wasn't too, too hard to do in survival. And about the only thing you need to worry about is you're going to need access to the nether in order to make the redstone lamps. Because you do need glowstone in order to run that. Ooh, it's getting dark. So, all right. And then I'm actually going to just off to the side. So I want my... Oops my base circuit to actually come off of the side. There's going to be a reason. I'll kind of explain it a little bit later as to why I want my circuit to do the thing it's doing. So step one, we're going to look at our layout for all of our redstone. Now, the important thing is actually going to be our placement of our repeaters. Our repeaters need to all go in a circular direction. 
essentially. You can put a ton of repeaters or you can put very few and you'll see why as I start explaining this. And first step, set their delay as far as you can for now. So just trust me on that one. Set it as far as you can. So I'm going to set, I'm going to go around this corner. I'm going to put my next repeater. Now it's very important that we have all the, the repeaters going because you can see those arrows where you've got your delay, where it kind of kind of looks like it's got an arrow. Follow that. So this part should all be going the same direction. All of them go in the same direction. Okay, so let's get that one in. It's relatively, all in all, as far as uh, redstone circuits go, this is a very simple construct. Now, as I come up to here, I need one more. I have to put one here. And there's a method to the madness here, but it's gotta happen. Now you can set less of a delay, but you cannot have it on no delay. And I'll explain why in a little bit. Okay, so here's our circuit. This is our circuit layout. Now you could probably use a couple less repeaters if you set it right, just in the right way. But this is setting here, and watch. I'm gonna quickly turn that off and off, on and off. So as you can see now, it's running. All right, so that's still okay with that one. We're gonna set it here. Now the reason behind this, and one of the things you can play with, is this gonna actually affect the overall uh, switching speed and how fast the lights cycle through. So depending on how fast your lights, so say you're doing an airport and you want them to cycle through more quickly, it's gonna be less of a delay but you cannot have it at no delay. Let's see how quick uh, how quick that's flowing now, now that I've got the delay here. Okay. So now the thing is, if I want this to go all the way on, we do that. But as you can see now, now it actually runs perpetually. So you, then you have to shut it off. Okay, so you see what I mean there? That's why it's a very quick... And this is also why direction is important. Because if this one is not going the right direction, you know, because it basically is creating a circuit flow that goes this way. Here's where, where the, the circuit charge is flowing. If I were to put this in the other direction, it would actually stop at this one and turn itself off. If I did not have it here, it would just run normally. So if I take this one out and I put this here and I turn it on and turn it off again, let's see what happens. All right, so it still runs. All right, there you go. So I need one less. I don't need that one there because I've got these ones here. It's always going to create that. So let's see, with four repeaters, you can do that. And of course you can make more stuff advanced as you go from there. Now here's the next step. So obviously this makes a terrible dance floor right now because I obviously can't stand when I fall in. <laughs> but all I gotta do is place some carpet. Now, as you can see the carpet is trying to go at the highest point and you just gotta be careful here when you try to place here because otherwise it'll try to interact with your your switch. So I'm going to get all of these placed. And then I'm just going to aim right there. I'm just going to work my way around. Whoops. That one's a little high. And I just keep going around until I get all of them placed. You know, for the ones there, just do that. If you've got the carpet to spare, just quickly brush those on. And as you can see, we've got a nice dance floor forming right here, or whatever else you want to do with it. Now, another thing to note for uh, this kind of circuit is I could actually, if I just knock out, 
this gr uh, ground here, and I put that there, that'll actually cycle through as well. So you could potentially have them embedded along the redstone path. So if you've got, you're not worried about whether your redstone is visible or not, you could viably just go, boink, 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 boink. No red stone there and have that going around. Have your redstone run along this. Grab your lever. And so you can light it up accordingly. So if you're not worried about your redstone circuit being hidden, you could just do that. And then all you're gonna do from there is you're gonna go a bit further back, set your repeaters, all right? and run your circuit around back to your starting point. Here, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna quickly just run the circuit so you can see what the circuit will look like. So go run your circuit all the way to here. Run here, run your switch, set your delay. Okay, and then And then I mean, I could, for example, run another one here, another repeater here. That's the only thing you have to worry about is your repeaters are obviously gonna be right up there. So, so it won't hold out for too long along this circuit because right now I don't have enough repeaters to run along my circuit, but it'll, it'll light up all the way through and go all the way around. So, I mean, I could perfect this a little bit more. So, uh, that being said, in theory, let me look at this. No, that won't work. Okay, so you can't put your repeaters under underground. So, that one still takes a little bit of work. You would probably wouldn't be to hide it very well. But, yeah, essentially now you've got this perpetuating uh, dance floor or lighting effect or any way to run a perpetual circuit is this way to do it. So you could have it running other stuff as well, You where you could have it running pistons and pushing pistons along to create a cycle for something. So if you want to push a block multiple spots, it could keep pushing a block essentially in a circle if you wanted it to and stuff like that. So maybe it's something we'll experiment with a little bit more later, see what else we can come up with kind of see what else is going on. Now, if you want to see any other builds or crazy things you want me to work on, or if you want to see just base construction stuff, so building uh, interesting tunnels in unique places, looking at doors, entrances, or even just uh, construction ideas like the tower over yonder here, uh, let me know in the comments below. Chat with me over on Discord, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and... Yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys again for another Minecraft video or some of the other stuff that I've got going on. So, if you enjoyed this, give it a like, subscribe to the channel so you can see more stuff as it gets posted, and be sure to check out all the links down below for all my social media. And I will see you guys again next time. Have fun, keep gaming, and I will see you soon.